Hello, Crystal. How are you today? Hi, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, my name is Alejandra. Nice to meet you. Hi. Um, and I am the social worker here at this agency. Mm-hmm. What brings you in today? Um, well, I'm just feeling a little lost with what I want to do after college. Okay. So you're in college at the moment. Yes. What is your major? My major is social work. Oh, okay. Interesting. Mm-hmm. All right. So I just want to let you know before we um, dig any deeper that we do have a confidentiality policy here at this agency. So um, that just means that I am not going to tell anyone else what you tell me here today unless I feel like you're a threat to yourself or to other people. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so tell me a little bit more. Uh, so you're in college right now, your major's in social work, and you are nervous about what you're gonna do after? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, uh, I don't know what's gonna happen after college. I'm gonna find a job, mm-hmm. I'm gonna like it. Yeah, so that I'm kind of learn what my next step is in life. Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, well, I'm like the first child to go to college in my family mm-hmm. so I feel like I've there I've gained that um what do you call it like they expect me to um, go out and have a bright future and career and, and do way better than than my parents did mm-hmm. so I feel pressured by that so what if the job I get doesn't meet their expectations or um, I don't earn enough as they think I am what's going happen yeah, or mm-hmm. if I don't find the job I want r- right away you know that's gonna be the first step mm-hmm. so you're kind of worried about um, not being able to meet their expectations is what I'm hearing mm-hmm. okay so what are your expectations like well <clears throat> so far it's graduating college and after that having a, a job that I, that I like and that I can help people in mm-hmm. so that's my first goal I don't really have uh, a mindset of I have to go out and make a lot of money right away because I know that starting off, the most probable thing is I probably won't make a lot of money right away. Mm-hmm. So, just having a job that I that I enjoy and can't wait to get up every morning and get to. Mm-hmm. That's my expectation. Okay, so you're looking for more of a gratifying type of job versus a, a job that makes a lot of money. Mm-hmm. And have you explained that to your parents? Um, yeah, my mom seems to understand a little bit, and she's like, as long as you're happy and you find something that you enjoy. Mm-hmm. But my dad, not so much, he doesn't really get that. He's always like, oh, we're just going to graduate, and then she's going to go on and do all this and that. Or he'll be like, I heard that this kid went to college, and he's doing this now, and so I, that kind of always brings me back to that mindset Mm -hmm. and even though my mom says that oh you'll you'll be fine I feel like deep down she still um, expects me to to get a good job but maybe she's just saying that for comfort because sometimes she'll come out and say like you're gonna find a good job anyway so stop worrying and you're gonna make good money and all that stuff so either either way she she gives me support but at the same time I know in her mindset she still thinks that I like the job right okay all right, so the kind of support she's offering you isn't really bringing you like peace within you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's just maybe like maybe she will be happy if, as long as I have a job that I enjoy. But mm-hmm. she still also has that that expectation that I probably will get a good paying job and stuff like that. So. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and I'm also afraid. What if I find a job and then I don't like it, so I decide to quit. Take a different path down my life. Um, how will they feel? Because I just wasted, you know, like four years of college, mm-hmm. and they helped me out too. So I feel like that would play a factor in it. I also don't want to make them be like, "Oh, we gave you money for college, now you're gonna go back and change your your career." So that's also scary because I don't know what's gonna happen ten years down the road, mm-hmm. in five years. So yeah. Okay. So, but why? Why do you feel like it would be four years wasted? Because I, I gave all my effort and to find, and well, four years you can't really get back, you know? So I'm like, what if I could have been doing something else with my life? Because mm-hmm. even now, sometimes I'm like, well, because I changed my major before. So I'm like, what if that happens again? What if I don't like it? So, because I'm not usually a person that 
settles, I usually have a doubt in my head. Or I'm like, well, I also want to do this and that. Because there's many things that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So there's still that doubt in your head. Mm -hmm. And, well, what what is it that brought you to social work? Well, I've always, when I see videos or I read stories in the news, I hear them about people suffering and how nothing can be done about it. Or I hear um, regular people judge other, like say poor people, and they have these negative viewpoints. It, it hurts me because we don't know everybody's story and everything like that, so mm -hmm. how they got to be there. And if people keep complaining, what's going to help to fix issues that other people are facing? So I thought maybe I could be that one person that will try and help them mm -hmm. start going. Yeah, so it looks like you're looking for um, a job that you can help people out and give back. Mm -hmm. Hands on. And I, I also don't know really what I want to focus on in social work specifically. Mm -hmm. I thought of areas like maybe with, the ch with children or with the older population. Because I hear people um, say, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that in classrooms. And I'm like, oh, I don't even really have my mind set yet. So that, that also makes me feel like, oh, maybe I should already know what I want to do in the field specifically. Mm -hmm. So that also makes me scary. Because most people already have a, a path that they're going to follow and get a job in that area. And me, I'm just like, I'm not sure even what I'm going to work in. Mm -hmm. Just that it has to do with social work. But I don't know what area, really. Okay, so it sounds to me like you do want to work with social work, but you not being sure of what field to go into is what is causing you to have that little fear inside of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's definitely understandable. I mean, a lot of people do, a lot of college students do um, have those feelings, especially when they're about to graduate, um, because they're taking a big step. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what? You have made it this far. You've been in school for three and a half years, and you're about to get that diploma. That is a big achievement. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when you put it that way, it makes me really proud of. Mm -hmm. And I guess even if maybe if I don't like the career, if this diploma is like the first step in higher education and maybe continuing even further, because I hear that maybe I could, that social work goes many ways. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to tie myself to one field specifically. Oh, okay, so that's really good. So within social work, you could try out uh, different areas, mm -hmm. is what you're saying? Yeah, and maybe I could even go back to school later and, and study something that is different from social work, but also ties in, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's how it started. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, so far you, you told me that um, you're nervous about what you're gonna do once you graduate, and then that you are worried about disappointing your parents because of all the time and energy and effort that they have put into putting you through school. Mm -hmm. um, but then also, you believe that social work is a good field for you because you can do many things and not just stick to one thing if you're not happy with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, have you thought about um, making like a list of the pros and cons? Because you said you wanted to work with children or maybe uh, older, population. older population. Have you uh, Try to put a list together of the pros and cons of working with each population? No, I haven't. No? That sounds like a good idea. Uh, you mentioned it. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think that for our next meeting, mm -hmm. um, you should go home mm -hmm. and make a list of the pros and cons of working with children and then also working with adults. And then write down all the good things of writing with the one population and also, I guess, the things you want to enjoy so much, maybe. Okay. Like the stressors of working in that job. and. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, just the pros and the cons of each population. <laughs> okay. And then with that, just bring it back to me and we can look it over and then we can kind of, um, you can also explore careers within each of those two mm -hmm. populations. Do you have any careers in mind? No, that's it. Okay, maybe you can also explore some of those. Um, do you, what do you see yourself doing? Um, what do you mean, job-wise or, like, living my life? Like, what do I see in my life? Um, job-wise. Job-wise? Um, 
to be. I don't know really. That's okay. the thing. All right, let's try this. So close your eyes and then think. If I could wake up tomorrow and have everything solved, what would my life be like? Well, um, I would get up and then I would go to a job that I enjoy and go to people that I can maybe bring joy to their life just for that one day, which will help for that one moment and then throughout the day, it'll set them on a more positive note. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you, you, it really looks like you want to help people and make their lives better. All right, well, it looks like like you have, I mean, although you don't feel like you have a concrete concrete plan, you kind of do because you know that you want to make people happy. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, next time when you uh, come back to me for our next visit, and then we can go over uh, kind of the pros and cons of the two populations, and then we can go from there. Does that oh, sound good? That sounds really good. All right, well, thank you for meeting with me today. Thank you.